Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today's video is just a nice quick and simple one. What we're going to be going over is creating custom mouse cursors. So again, this is a nice simple one but it does add a nice little detail to your game to give it that extra polished finished look. So I'm going to hit play. I have my main menu which I made in a previous tutorial which I will link in the description down below. As you can see on my screen I have my own cursor now. So what I've done is I've made my own one and it is the mannequin arm. I've just simply photoshopped it to make it look just to have the mannequin arm and I have it here instead of the normal mouse cursor which you would ordinarily have. So again as you can see this is what we've got and I think this just looks quite cool again a nice little detail. So again this is what we're going to be making today so without further ado let me just delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we obviously want to have our mouse cursor we're going to use. So again I've made my own one here this is a photoshop document of 50 by 50 what I got was just a simple screenshot of a mannequin which I got from a previous tutorial that I've made. I just simply got his arm there and then I just cut it out to look like this and added a nice stroke drop shadow on the side of it. Again, you can do whichever one you want though. It doesn't have to be a mannequin arm. It can be a logo, a normal mouse cursor but just in a different style. It can be absolutely anything that you like. And again, a good size I'd recommend doing is 50 by 50. But it doesn't have to be, but just make sure it's a square ideally. And once you've got that, obviously you want to import it into Unreal, ideally having a transparent background as a PNG. Again, if you don't want it to have a transparent background, you don't have to. Now obviously it's 50 by 50, so this is very, very blurry because it's scaled up. But it's not going to be this big on screen though, is it? So it doesn't matter, it doesn't need to be that highly detailed because it's not going to be this big. But with all that out of the way, let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do is we need to right click, go to user interface and create a widget blueprint because we need to put our cursor into a widget to make it appear on screen. And I'm just going to name this one mouse cursor one so we can make more than one if we want. And I'm going to open that up straight away. In here, I'm going to add an image like so, just add it onto the canvas panel like that. And again, I'm going to size this up to be 50 by 50 like so. Then what I'm going to do is up in the top right of the screen, you can see we have fill screen. I'm going to change that to be desired on screen. So now the canvas panel is just the size of how big this is actually going to be on the screen, which is a lot better. That's what you want to do. And I'm just going to make sure I anchor this to the middle, but it's not going to make a difference because it's the whole screen. But again, anchor it to the middle. Then we're simply just going to change the image to be our cursor. So I just named that mannequin arm cursor, I believe. There we go. Now you can see we have that there. When we zoom out, it's going to look like that. So you can see it's not blurry anymore. And obviously this is the full screen, so that's the size it's going to be. We can compile, save, because that's all we need to do. So again, this image is just your custom cursor, whatever you want it to be. Close that. The next step is to go to Edit, Project Settings. Then we're going to go down under Engine, go into User Interface. You can see we have these different cursors here. We want to change the software cursors. So we're going to add an array element there using that plus. Change it from None and then we're going to use default. What these do is it changes this particular cursor. So I want to change the default cursor, but you can change the crosshair cursor, the hand cursor, the grab hand cursor, any one of these. You just select that and that's what we're going to change. So again, I want default. So the left is what the cursor is that we are changing and the right is the cursor we're changing it to. So I'm going to go from none to mouse cursor one because that's the widget I just made. So now we can close this, hit play, and we should now have our own custom cursor, which you can see here is very, very simple. As you saw, it was three different steps. Make the cursor, put the cursor in a widget, set that widget to be our new override of the cursor. And again, you can see we have it here in my main menu, like so, and I can use it as a normal cursor. It follows the mouse. We don't need to do anything else with it. We simply just need to make it and tell the engine to use this. Very simple, very effective nice little extra detail to add onto your games. So I think that'll be it for this video, so we've done everything we want to do. We've very simply just made our custom mouse cursor, which we can use in our games to give it a nice polished look and feel to the game. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.